Hi guys, welcome to Chosen Explosions Prophetic Revelations. My name is Evelyn Brooks. As most of you guys know, my husband and myself and my daughter and my grandbaby went, was on vacation last week. Um, we had a fantastic time. We went up to Pigeon Forge, Tennessee, and it was just very relaxing and restful. And, uh, and I'm back, and I'm ready to get back to work, and I'm excited about the things that God is doing in our lives here at Chosen Explosion. I'm excited about what God is doing in, in your life as well. I've received so many letters after that last word that I put up. The bells are ringing, changes here. And uh, that uh, rang true for many of you. Uh, many of you are going through many changes right now. And uh, you're excited about it. And we're excited about it for you. And we're keeping all of you in our prayers. And we know that God just has amazing, amazing things for all of us. Well, um, I recorded this word last week, actually, before I left, and uh, it was supposed to go live last uh, last week while I was on vacation, but the word was accidentally deleted, and so I'm having to record it again today, and it seems like, guys, that's how things have been going lately. It seems like the enemy is fighting us tooth and nail. He doesn't like the forward movement, and... Uh, and I know that may be true in your lives as well. Uh, but just uh, don't give up. Keep pressing on. God is with you. And you're going to get to that place that he's taking you to. Um, but yes, be aware that the enemy is fighting. He doesn't like forward movement. Because usually, always, that is not good for him whenever it's the Lord that's leading us and guiding us. Amen. Okay, I'm going to go ahead right now and I'm going to read that word. I don't know if I told you the title or not, but it's Come into the secret place. I received this word on uh, May 12th. Okay, this is what it says. Come, my children. You are the very delight of my heart. You who are burdened, come to me to find rest for your weary soul. Come and find strength in your weakness. Do you not know that a river of my presence flows within you? Come into my shadow, my beloved. Drink from the river of my presence. Here you will find rest. Here you will find the answers that you seek. This is the secret place reserved only for those who love me. Come, my little ones. Gather to me. Come and drink of my water. I am waiting for you. The cares of this world melt in my presence. There is healing in my presence. There is wholeness in my presence. Come, I am waiting for you. Come and find rest in the secret place. Father, God, we just thank you, Lord. We praise you, God. We magnify you. We glorify you, God. Lord, we thank you that we are not alone. And Lord, we thank you, God, for all the many benefits, Lord, that belongs to those who know and love you. God, thank you so much. Lord, we thank you for the secret place of the Most High. Lord, we just thank you so much, Lord, that we have access to you all the time. Lord, we thank you, Lord God, that you surround us, that you cover us, that you protect us, Father God. Lord, I just ask you, Lord God, to help more of your people, Lord, to uh, recognize, to realize, to understand the benefits, Lord, of being your children, Lord. If they don't understand the secret place, Lord, then I ask you today, God, Lord, let revelation come, Lord. I know that you are drawing your people into the secret place of the Most High. Lord, you do your part, but we know that we must do our part as well. Lord, so help your children, Father God, to find this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful place that you have provided for us. And we thank you once again for it. Lord, you're so good. We love you so much. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Okay, guys, I want to talk about the secret place for a few minutes, and I want to read uh, a few scriptures concerning that. Guys, the secret place of the Most High is His presence, the presence of God Almighty. And yes, this only belongs to those who know Him and who love Him. And I can prove that over and over through the scriptures. But here's the thing. Everyone is invited to know God. Everyone has opportunity to know and to love God. 
So, so really the secret place is for everyone. But guys, we know that they must come in, that all must come in through the name of Jesus Christ. That is the way to the Father. Amen. Well, the secret place, as I said, it is his presence. And guys, we have his presence, but we have to do our part. We have to recognize being in the secret place of the Most High. First of all, I'm going to tell you about two different two different secret places, and this is how I see it, okay? Uh, through, through my years of experience of knowing and experiencing God, having encounters with God, this is the way I see it. First of all, we have His presence all the time, but we must know, we must see, we must acknowledge Him to know that He is ours and we are His and that He loves us. So it's a place of faith, of knowing that, that He is with us, that He is our refuge and that we can run to Him at any time and we have that place of safety. And I'm going to read a couple scriptures. I guess I think I'll just go ahead right now. So that's the first place. You have it all the time. And the way that you access it, access it is to know that it exists and to trust him. I want to read Psalm 31, 19 through 20. It says, How great is your goodness, which you have laid up for those who fear you. You have worked for those who, who trust in you before the sons of men. You shall hide them in the secrecy of your presence from the pride of man. You shall hide them in the shelter, in a shelter away from the strife of tongues. I want to also read some of Psalm 91. I'm not going to read it all, but I encourage you, and we should read this all the time. We should read it many times. Psalm 91, all of it. But I'm just going to read the first few verses of it right now. It says, He who dwells in the secret place of the Most High shall rest under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of Jehovah, my refuge and my fortress, my God, in him I will trust. Surely he will deliver you from the fowler's trap and from the destroying plague. He will cover you with his feather, feathers and under his wings you shall trust. His truth shall be your shield and buckler. Guys, it goes on to tell us that God protects us from anything and everything. And uh, that he gives his angels charge over us to lift us up so that we don't even dash our foot against the stone. And uh, But guys, we have, we have to do our part. Everything in the kingdom comes by faith. So we have to know that this exists for us and we have to trust him. And the more we read his word, the more we hide it in our hearts, the more we meditate upon his bigness and his goodness and upon his word of his bigness and his goodness, the more alive it becomes on the inside of us. And the more daily we, we, we are aware of his ever abiding presence and uh, that, that he, that we are in his presence and that he is our everything. We look to him for everything. We look to him for divine protection. We look to him to speak to us, to lead us, to guide us, and to help us in everything. And that is a benefit of knowing God. I know that Christians don't walk in it in our fullness. I don't think any of us walks in it in our fullness, but some walks in it a whole lot more than others, and some just don't at all. But perhaps it's because they haven't been taught. They just don't really understand and know how real God really is in our daily lives and how amazing and how awesome he is to us. I want to read another one. Guys, this is Psalm 32, 7. It says, You are my hiding place. You shall preserve me from trouble. You shall circle me with songs of deliverance. Selah. I will instruct you. So David was talking to God, and then David stops. King David stops to uh, take a break to meditate on God and then God starts speaking and he says I will instruct you and teach you in the way which you should go I will counsel you my eyes shall be on you do not uh, be not like the horse or like the mule who have no understanding whose mouth must be held in with bit and brittle bridle so that they do not come uh, near you the wicked has many sorrows but mercy embraces him whose trust is in Jehovah so he's telling us guys he's telling us about this hiding place and he said now don't be stubborn don't don't be like a mule don't be stubborn 
but and rebellious, but come to me and allow me to to speak to you and to lead you and to guide you. Amen. We have to we have to follow God and listen. Now I want to go ahead and talk about the second place, and I talk about this all the time, but it's so important, guys. The secret place is when we get away with God in in our secret place, in our place where we go to commune with God where we pull away from all distractions and we focus on God and we allow, we listen, we pray, we talk, but then we be quiet. And a lot of people, when they finish talking, they want to get up and walk away. But no, 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 no. That's the time to stay and to listen to God speak, to feel his heart, uh, to get his mind on the situations in our life and just his mind in general and his heart in general he will show you and talk to you about many things but listen god's voice is a still small voice uh we don't hear it in our ears we hear it in our spirit our born again spirit where the holy spirit resides is from the inside of us so we hear it with our spirit ears our spiritual ears god will talk to us and then he will confirm and the word will always confirm and I always press that because um, the Word of God is our anchor. It, it's our it's our bedrock of truth. Anything that the Holy Spirit says to us, anything that God says to us in the spirit realm, it will, it can be confirmed, and it will be confirmed in the Word, unless it is a direction for for your life in general, a specific direction. But it still, in a sense, can be confirmed in the Word. And so we go to the Word, and we make sure that what we're hearing is is truth. And, uh, but guys, I promise you, you don't have to be afraid of doing this. You don't have to be afraid of seeking God in this beautiful, perfect, wonderful secret place. Uh, he will not allow you to be, uh, deceived by demons. If you are seeking God, God is what you're going to get. We have that promise. And so we should do that. We should do that daily. And God is calling us into the secret place because guys, yes, change is here. Amen. It is. But we need the strategies of heaven. We need to hear from God. We, and uh, he's calling us in and he don't want us to be full of anxiety. He wants us to be full of faith and all of our cares, all of our anxieties will melt, melt away in the secret place and we will get the strategies of heaven. We will get the mind and the heart of God. And that is God's will for every single born-again Christian. Listen, this is ours. It belongs to us. And uh, it's such a valuable, wonderful, beautiful place. So take time. Take time every day. Take time today to go to that place. Well, guys, uh, that's all I have. I just want to quickly remind you guys that if you... Uh, if you want us to pray about a certain situation, if you'll send a prayer request to prayer request at chosenexplosion.com, then, uh, then we will pray over that uh, every day as a ministry team for a week. Um, you know, your spe specific request. We pray for all of you guys every day, but we'll pray for your specific request in that way. Uh, guys, we have daily bread daily at 630 in the morning. If you would like to join us for that, um, we also have Friday night live services where you can uh, be in a chat room with other people, like-minded, like-hearted people, to talk to them. They, they minister to each other, and it's, it's so gratifying to us to see the saints of God ministering to each other in our chat rooms the way they do. It's just a beautiful thing. We invite you to come, and uh, we will pray for specific prayers uh, or answer any questions you might have live, during our live uh, service on Friday nights if you're able to join us but if not if you want to watch those services they're always posted on this channel well that's all i have for right now guys i'm trying to rush because i don't <laughs> i'm afraid my camera is going to cut off uh, i'm almost out of space on this particular ipad <laughs> but anyway guys i love you and i'm praying for you god bless you all bye bye